Alright, so on what is not even a moderately good idea, I have decided, well, it's not really relevant because I can just switch if I don't like it, but I actually ended up, I ran over to, um, I think it is, there's no way, no way. I decided to go over to McDuff before I came over here, I bought the katana, as you can, well, as you can barely see, it's very hard to see, but I went ahead and bought the katana, and I'm going to try it out. I mean, the problem is that, you know, it's a dexterity weapon. God damn, that dude's attack did a lot of damage. So, I mean, like, I like the move set of it. It's just, this is clearly not meant for a strength. This is designed for a dexterous character, not a strength character. So, that is something I would definitely want to look into further. As a dexterity-based character. Just not right now. Ow. He got me. Uh, what? I'm gonna get you back, dude. Nailed it. <laughs> I guess this just means there's not much PK here anymore. As people moved on to brighter pastures or something. Awesome. He's dual wielding bows? Do that? That's actually pretty fucking awesome. I don't. Um, is there one down there too? No. Thought I might have saw something sparkling. God damn it. Spices and shit. Oh, you have to. You're supposed to go this way. Oh, shit. Ow. Fuck all y'all, dude. Want to play the range game? Let's play the range game. Oh, shit. This dude coming at me. This dude is coming for me. Oh, fuck. He started defending. He started being smart. I'm not allowed to be smart. He's supposed to just die to me. Come on. Come on. There we go. Scared me. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Alright, bros. Let's do this. Alright, bow bros. Black. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Oh, this dude doesn't stop, does he? Ow! Fuck this guy. Like, honestly, all this dude even has to do is just, like, let this other guy kill me. What are you doing emotes for, dog? You didn't do shit. You didn't do shit. You don't get to do, you don't get to do anything. That's kind of lame they don't get to hurt each other. At least I got invaded finally. Although why did I get invaded twice in rapid succession? And why does it take so long after? Like why do they gotta let me sit here and watch these assholes? <laughs> Basically mock me for an entire minute. My feelings are already hurt enough. 
I mean, I have so much to learn just about PK in general in this game that it's, it's going to be a learning experience. I am going to lose a vast majority before I start, you know, like, really getting down how people tend to fight, knowing the properties of different weapons, shit like that. Whereas a lot of these people that are actually getting into the PvP aspect early, they've been doing this since, like, Demon Souls, or they've played the shit out of Dark Souls PvP. All that kind of shit. So they're very, I mean, you know, I'm obviously not trying to make excuses and be like, it's only because they're experienced and know what they're doing and better than me and everything. Well, yeah, duh. But I'm just saying, please be gentle. Don't make fun of me too much. I'm gonna ring this bitch again. I feel like that's my responsibility. I should be ringing this bitch every single time I come in here. Before I move along. hit the button once, I get two attacks sometimes. When I hit the button twice, I get zero. Killing me. Ooh, another ladder. Oh, that probably just takes me back. Yeah, it just lets me walk back up that way. Never mind. Ignore that shit. Oh, am I done? Nope, there's a way down. But you're a liar. You're a big fat phony. Hey, everybody, look, this guy's a big fat phony. Oh, is that it? That's it. Alright, well, I guess that's the Belfry Soul. How exciting. Um, so what I want to do here. Well, firstly, I am going to dump these dudes. Oh, never mind. Can I not do it? Okay, well. Ow! That was unnecessary. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is actually go back to the beginning of the Iron Keep. And actually, we're gonna fight since this is directly next to a, uh, damn, I, that's actually, well, that's a very good zone. Kudos to, uh, them for thinking up, like, you know, Belfry Soul and Belfry Luna. Those are both very good, compact PvP areas so it's that's a that was a good idea kudos to them for basically throwing people a place where if you just want to fight like you know just utter mayhem that, that shit fucking works let's use that let's use this one and can we hit both damn it it's bullshit should be able to stack that stuff. Alright, so what else do we got here that might help? I guess I don't really have anything else that will help, so might as well keep that. So now I want to, obviously I know what items I have, but I want shit with just like the highest possible flame resistance, and right now there's literally nothing. There's literally nothing. I have the best possible fire resistance with my cap already, okay. Really? Okay, oh wait. 53? And it's like, it's almost three times as heavy not worth it for four points wow jesus i mean i guess it's more this is more of a factor of like not that this armor is shit but more about um actually i should probably upgrade those but that's the pro that's probably the problem 
it's not really an issue with them just being bad. It's more a problem of them being upgraded against all this other not upgraded stuff. So yeah, I guess that's the best I got going for me. So now, oops. We're gonna exchange this out for you. I have one of these. Well then. I, mean, I know you can buy these from somebody, so we're just gonna try this first. Oh, did I already get this item? I already got that item. I'm smart. But still, that should, from what I can tell, that certainly looks like I should be able to run over and grab that item that's over there. I highly doubt, though, that I have enough to tank uh, that section inside the keep, like from where we dropped down from Belfry Soul, and then at the bottom of that level there was a chest on one side and there was an item on the other side. I highly doubt, unless I, like, intentionally make multiple trips over there. Very, very highly doubt. That I will be at whatever. I'll just eat the deaths, I don't care. Oh, see, there's another one of those things. Here's another one of those things. There's a red summon? That's a red summon. How fucked up would it be if I just, like. Oh my god. <laughs> how fucked up would it be if I made a jump like that? No, but how fucked up would it be if. I literally just came down here and like just chilled here granted that would suck if the person ended up being like a mage or you know had a really good bow honestly even if they had a really good bow I'd probably still be fine I just block what I can if they're doing you know elemental damage to me I sip after I block something back to normal unless they have like five billion souls I'd probably I mean five billion arrows I'd probably outlast them Damn, there's a lot of these bitches. So that's definitely something to do with players. Oh, you motherfucker! Well, that does answer the question, though. We can obviously make it over there, shit. I hope, I hope the souls stay in that initial spot and aren't in the second one, because if it's in the second one, we might be losing them. Should have leveled up first and just kept myself with like 6,000 souls or whatever I've been left with. I don't know how much it's costing me. I know it's in the 20,000s. And I had about 30,000 souls right there, like 30,300 something. Let's just. Oh. Dragon, what is that? I'll have to look that up, see what that does. Oh, fuck. Never mind, I'm gonna look it up right now. God damn, I'm stupid. Pretty soon I'm gonna get to a point where I'm not even able to handle that anymore. Uh-oh. First topic on this page. How is the PvP noob friendly? It's clearly not, because I'm one for six. <laughs> most fight- this dude, most fights can be won with simple R1 spam. If you are un- R, if you're just sitting there spamming your attack, that is just asking to run out of stamina and get the shit with punished out of you. Like when you can't block. I'm actually going to equip. Since obviously I don't need this bitch anymore. Well, it's not gonna help me now, but well, whatever. You son of a fuck stick! Why do you always roll? <laughs> oh, it's a covenant.
Oh, okay. So it's basically the same thing. It's essentially the same thing as summoning somebody to duel. I actually do... The person, one of the first responders, actually had exactly what I thought... An idea for exactly what I actually thought it was. I thought if you stepped on it, it was like a trap that was going to either summon you... Or it summoned an invader. Oh, that was a bad one. This is going to be a while. I mean, see, they made... This, this game is not made to support effective jumping and good jumping. When I'm literally forced to, like, I can't jump, just run, jump, run, jump, because I end up rolling off the edge of the next one, that's poorly designed. This game is not designed for quick running and jumping. It is absolutely not. Damn, people really want to fight in the Iron Keep. Uh, oh. I thought I was rolling off and then I hit the button and it was too late. I was already slipping off. This is going to be a while. It's going to be a painful experience for everybody. Well aware of it. It's just hilarious that this just showcases how bad Dark Souls loading times are because I'm dying faster than the game is actually managing to load the area. I just don't understand why. Like, you loaded the area already, the area is loaded. How do you not just like hang on to that and make it faster? You know what? This person is already in this area. This area is already loaded. Throw them back to start and we're good to go. That was a terrible jump. I jumped before. I mean, pretty much what, whatever happens when I jump like that, when I'm trying to kind of like run at an angle and then twist and you know, move, I hit the button, I click the stick down at the same time that I, actually, let me check this out, I think if there's a, if there's a configurable control option to change how you jump, I'm picking it, because trying to maneuver this around while also clicking it at the same time is just clumsy, and that's what most of those are when I just, I mean to change the angle, and it just doesn't happen. Actually, and that's still better. But still, why does he roll? Like, look at that—he gets. This dude gets at least two inches, three inches off the ground at most, and he's rolling when he comes to. Come on, dude. Ah, uh, fuck. This is stupid. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to make you guys watch this shit over and over. This is going to take a while. I'm well aware of it. You're well aware of it. I'm going to have to do this for this section. And then I'm going to have to get through that shit in the next... Like, this is just going to suck. It's going to be boring. I'm going to whine like a bitch. So I'm just going to get through this on my own. And we're just going to eventually get the fuck out of here.